Hello, I'm Oscar. I'm a rising senior at the King's Academy, and I did my main project on the hovercraft. For my third and final milestone, I finished the aesthetics, and uh, I attached the servo uh, for my hovercraft. So for the servo, what I did was, uh, in the previous spot where I had my motor, I just cut a slot in the Depron, and then I just hot glued the servo into the slot. And for the motor, I just attached the motor on top of the servo by hot gluing it to uh, a holding area made of Depron and then I just hot glued everything together. And for the aesthetics, I spray painted uh, the duct tape black and as well as I added a Batman symbol on top. And uh, yeah, here is uh, a quick demo. So here's the servo in action. You can see it moving like this. And it also works while it's running. So let me turn the bottom on. You can see the servo is still moving and if I turn it off, Yeah, so the servo is completely functioning and it also uh, is very easy to uh, turn with, but uh, the hovercraft itself is pretty hard to control because of how fast it moves. And um, so some struggles I had with this was with the skirt because in my second milestone video, the skirt, I had it way too puffy. And uh, to fix that, what I did was I just tightened up the skirt. So I just took the duct tape off that was holding the skirt down and then I tightened up the skirt and then I replaced all the duct tape. And then by doing that, the bottom, let me show you. The bottom became much less puffy when I turned on the lift fan. So that allows that allowed me to, uh, uh, like the puffiness, the problem with the puffiness is when I attached the motor, like the hovercraft had the tendency to tilt over and fall over. And uh, to by reducing the puffiness, like it's much, like it doesn't tilt over anymore. And another problem I had was with finding the correct space for the servo in the back because there was like a lot of different places I could put it and I could mount the motor in many different like ways. And I just wanted to find the most optimal way to mount the servo and motor in order to maintain balance as well as still being able to drive the hovercraft pretty uh, effectively. And um, something I learned was the, um, that uh, spray painting the duct tape is not a good idea because some of the duct tape lost adhesion and that like made it a bit more difficult to stick on. But uh, so yeah, in the future I'll refrain from just spray painting duct tape. And yeah, thank you.